Hey guys! This is a requested video and I was asked to make a deep, round, decorative wall mirror. And to also lay emphasis on using more mirrors to decorate the outer parts. Now this is what I came up with. And I'd like to share with you guys how I made it. Now let's go ahead and get started. I took a board and I drew out two circles and I cut them out. I drew inner circles for both boards. And then I took a hard poster board and I cut out strips from there. And then I took one of the boards and I carved out the inner circle. And I will be using the strip that I cut out from the poster board to glue it on to the circle that I had already carved out. Now I'll need a certain length to go around the circle so I will be adding it up with tape just to make sure that I have a long length long enough to cover up the whole circle. list of all the items that I use for this project will be in the description box below and if you're new to my channel it's so great to have you here now don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos done with the outer circle, I'm going to be moving to the inner circle. I kept that aside and then I took a 10 inch mirror and I glued it onto the second board. I took a silver rust-oleum spray paint and I spray painted the design that we worked on earlier. And now I'm going to be using silver beads to decorate the outer parts of the design. This is what it looks like and I'm going to be taking the oval mirrors that I have to decorate the top. I placed all the mirrors at a certain angle to make it uniform all around at the top. I glued it down using a hot glue gun and a new 6000 glue. I will be using these silver beads again and this time around I will be gluing them around the edges of the mirrors that we have on top of the design. done this is what it looks like and now I'm just gonna figure out what to use to cover up the open spaces so I had this leftover of trim embellishments from a gift that I made for my mom this is just a leftover so I cut out singular parts of this embellishments and that's what I'm gonna be using to glue it all around the open spaces I'm using the hot glue gun for now just to keep it in place, but I will be going around again with Mod Podge. This is what it looks like. And now I will be sealing in all the beads with the embellishments with Mod Podge and a brush. Now this one won't work so I used a better brush that would go through each of the corners better. Now we're going to be taking the board that has the mirror in the middle and we're going to be gluing the design that we have on top of it. And we're going to be doing it in a way that 
you arrange it and glue it so that the board that's underneath will not show. I'm going to be gluing this hook at the back of the design to hang it on the wall and this is what it looks like. I really love the way this wall mirror looks like and then the depth of the mirror gives it such a nice uniqueness. The depth of the mirror gave me an idea to kind of cover up a board with a reflective paper just to see what it's going to look like. And I put it in side the mirror it's not glued or anything I just put it there to properly fit in a snuggy way and then I put little decor items right there and they're not heavy like I said this is just me to make better use of the mirror and you can also use it for a tray with nothing too heavy of course just for decorative purposes let me know in the comment section below what you think about this awesome mirror idea and if it's something you'd like to try out in your home. And remember to like and share. And also remember to turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.